It's 7 o'clock. Welcome, everyone. This is the regular meeting of the Skyward Town Council. It's Wednesday, December 6th. Uh, it is also the swearing-in ceremony for our newly elected officials. If you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Turn this now over to our town clerk, Ms. Justice, for the swearing in. Just I want to make a couple of remarks. Thank you very much for the honor of, of serving as chair. Uh, I want to congratulate the uh, three newly elected uh, town councilors. The town uh, did an excellent job of picking three very capable people, all on the council previously, all very experienced uh, and very fair-minded. Uh, looking forward to working with all three. Uh, on behalf of the council, I want to thank uh, Kate St. Clair for her many years of service. I think she was on the council for five or six years uh, uh, and served as uh, chair of ordinance, uh, communications, uh, and uh, we very much appreciated her contribution to the town. I'd like to say that. Uh, I have some simple goals. Uh, mostly I want to make sure that all six of the town council members and the public are kept informed uh, to the greatest extent possible of any matter that might be under deliberation uh, or contemplation. Uh, uh, 
I want to be able to promote civility in all our dealings. I think we all realize that that can be an elusive situation in today's world, uh, but uh, I'm very proud of the way in which the seven members of this council have always conducted themselves, uh, and I think it's a good model uh, for all of us. Uh, and I'd like to promote thorough debate. Uh, I, I think we're all better for having fleshed out the issues. Uh, there'll be no quick gavels. It'll be the opportunity uh, to be able to put your two cents in, and hopefully that will be true whether you're a counselor or whether you're the public. Uh, the next order of business, order number 17-118, act on the request for nominations and election of the new town council vice chair. Uh, yes, I nominate uh, Chris Cayazza. Second. I see, I see. Other nominations? See, I know. Sergeant Pearson, step forward, please. Uh, no, I, I'm not sure that that's uh, uh, permitted. You have three minutes, sir, uh, but you're not uh, calling people to the podium. Not a problem, sir. Uh, I'm serving Tom Scarborough, who is our manager of the lawsuit, and I'm serving Councillor Bayadine, who is chair of the time, this part of this lawsuit. That's, that's, that's pronounced Bayadine, just to make sure you're Baby, baby, excuse me. And Sergeant Pearson has a copy of your lesson. You have sir. That's all I do, folks. Thank you. And uh, any other speakers uh, for public time? I just wish to straighten out something, a misunderstanding um, that was made during council comments last meeting. Um, Paula O'Brien, Pondview Drive. There were a couple of things said during the last meeting's councilor comments that I'd like to address. I wasn't able to stay for those comments, as I'm not able to tonight either, but I do try to catch up at a later date. The first thing I'd like to address is in regards to the sign ordinance. Yes, there were several signs that were out of compliance according to the new regulations approved by the Council, and those were corrected once reported. As I stated before, the sign ordinance is not easy to understand for businesses or candidates running for public office, or even some that actually approve the changes that are currently sitting on the Council. There are many requirements concerning this, too many in my opinion but hopefully some of those will be logically revisited and changed so a great deal of time isn't wasted in the future trying to enforce these requirements. Regarding the large sign across from Town Hall that came under review by the town clerk and town code enforcement, 
it was, in fact, deemed illegal by code enforcement and was stated in an email from code enforcement that the candidate would be contacted and one of the two signs would be removed to adhere to current regulations. That was the last email regarding the sign in question. There was no mention that it could be fixed, only that one sign would be removed. There is no fat out lie regarding this subject because there was never, I repeat, never any communication with those that were inquiring about this sign that it had been fixed to compliance or that it would even be an option to fix it regarding this particular sign. Again, there was no communication regarding this sign had been altered to be deemed satisfactory. After the election, I inquired with the town clerk and she explained to me that some sort of hinge had been added to this sign that then made it legal. She also apologized to me that no notification, no communication, no email had been sent to me or any others that were inquiring about this, and I have them all. The apology was understandably accepted. I know how busy she is and this communication was overlooked, but a mistake in blame was made during these counselor comments and I feel the need to correct it. I'd also like to address the state of Skyro as far as petty incidents regarding stolen and defacing signs. It is very unfortunate that some people stoop as low as to steal signs or rub feces on signs, etc. There were actually two other candidates that I'm aware of that also had signs stolen, and it wasn't that long ago that a senior citizen actually had feces left in his mailbox. There is no one or any group that I know of that would take part, much less condone this type of disgusting behavior. Hopefully in the future we can all agree to disagree and move forward without such pettiness, for it accomplishes nothing. Thank you. Others would like to speak at public time. Uh, the holiday season, and just to, to work off from uh, Councilor Foley's statements, I, 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 I came in with the click bags uh, today. Um, I know the Councilor was supposed to do this, but I don't know whether it would be in or not, but that's okay. Um, I, I regularly will bring in clink bags to council meetings if you hadn't noticed. Um, it's just a little thing that people can do, particularly now. Um, they are marked uh, for the um, um, heating assistance program. It is that time of year um, where you know, oil prices have inched up again. Um, so anything you can do, particularly at the holiday season, I don't know about you guys, but we have a few more bottles around the holiday season than normal. So. Uh, fill them up, bring them back, and there are more available in the uh, in uh, Tony's office. So if you could do that, would be would be great as well as anything else to, to help our neighbors. Um, and just to give you guys a heads up, um, the amendment. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I can't talk at this point. The um, brewery. Uh, Moving the parking to the north side, I will be offering an amendment just to give you a heads up on that. There is one house that's on the south side, has a stockade fence part of it, it's 200 more. I happen to own the, the I, I happen to know the owners of the house, and they have issues too getting in and out of that, so I'm going to add, just be asking for an amendment to also preclude parking just in front of, right, right in front of their house, just so you know. So I'll work with that. And other than that, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I'll keep it brief. Just happy holidays, everybody. And, and thank everyone out there for an opportunity to serve for another three years. And happy holidays. Thank you. Councilor Hayes. So I will also offer my congratulations to Councilor Baybon and Councilor Hayes for their uh, recent success. And Councilor Katarina, it is this like you never left, especially <laughs> with the clink comments. So <laughs> looking forward to picking up right where we left off. Yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, I did want to thank my fellow counselors for um, granting me the honor and the privilege of serving as vice chair. I know it's a largely ceremonial position, um, but uh, I am looking forward to working with everybody. And I think we've got an amazing skill set as counselors here. I think we're very well positioned to do uh, some some very productive things and be, and be very successful as a group as well. So I, I, I want to say thank you for that. I appreciate that that vote of confidence and look forward to starting to get ready to work. Uh, uh, assignments. We need to uh, hit the ground running, uh, so I'm going to pass out uh, assignment uh, forms that can be filled out. Uh, 
these are your preferences. This is what you would like to serve on. Uh, we have, uh, and I think Sean did a very good job last year giving us uh, documentation so everyone has it either in their computer or a hard copy so you, you'll know where, where you were, obviously. Uh, I was, uh, uh, I'd like to give everyone a week to get it back to me. Just email it to, uh, to me or scan it and email it to me, however you uh, like to uh, communicate. Um, uh, I would like us to consider scheduling a retreat. Uh, I thought it was successful two years ago. Uh, uh, I uh, have a lot of respect for the uh, uh, Dana and John, the people who uh, handled it. Uh, I think they're very committed to the community of Scarborough, and uh, the town manager and I have uh, been in touch with them to ask them if we might just uh, sit for the purposes of a discussion. I didn't want to uh, get ahead of ourselves, but I thought that uh, uh, it would be well received by the council so that uh, we could schedule something promptly. Uh, obviously, uh, a goal session also soon that uh, uh, will be scheduled. Uh, remember Project Grace, it's our Scarborough uh, charity that you see a lot of advertisements and solicitations at this time of year and Project Grace is one that really takes care of those in our community who, who, who benefit from the hub. So uh, that's uh, always on the front of my mind. Uh, I want to thank Councilor Babine. Uh, uh, he uh, was handed some tough uh, assignments, uh, some tough tasks that he handled very ably, uh, and he teased me that uh, I had left him with uh, some, and uh, particularly that I had left him with Avenue 2. <laughs> now, circle this color. <laughs> Full round. You're welcome. <laughs> and with that, I'll ask for a motion to move. So move. Yes, sir. All right, do you want uh, choices ranked uh, in terms of? That would help if if you have preferences, yes, okay. rank them, uh, 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 whatever information, that would be very helpful. Motion to adjourn. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor.